Haha. Yo, Chris, come here. You're gonna miss it. Celebration for 1K. What is going on? I'm busy. Look, you see? We're about to hit 1K subscribers. Oh my god. Five left. Congratulations. Based on the skin glitch we have been facing on Pocket Edition, we have been working hard on this project on making it happen. Some of the players have been having the same skins for an unknown reason. When it comes to playing in the animatronics, we have the player come with the endoskeleton skin and wear the armor of the animatronics and they do a walking. For the past months, the team and I have been working on a future film for Green the screen. Final Fantasy Universe. As you can see, we were making the animatronics here. In the film, they really are nice, but due to the technical failure, and they become evil throughout the film. I really like the role of the animatronics in this movie, as when the movie progress, they become much more aggressive. They are much scarier than the last movie was. Seeing when the filmmakers are doing the work, and when Chris plans the scene out, shoots More it, and puts the pieces together, what he did in this movie blows my mind still. You get to see me in the beginning part of the movie, and me and my buddy get attacked by these robots and by a man. It's kind of terrifying to shoot this in a dark place. Even though they seem very abnormal looking, for me they are fucking terrifying. And I think when Chris came back as a director for this movie is actually the perfect thing. Because of what uh. he did with the first movie, we noticed that he stepped it up to the extreme level. You are not ready to see this movie. When I saw the animatronics, I was really impressed by how realistic they looked. Said Renu, you really did an amazing job on it. Working with dark films was so fun. Once then they showed me some of their footage, like the trailers on they have started in this movie. It was really impressed on how they used my tester pack. Truth is, we have never seen anything like this on screen before. Watch this movie on the biggest screen you can this September. Oh, I have a biggest screen upstairs in my living room. Or I have another one up next door. September 4. That was an awesome behind the scenes since behind the scenes too not sure what it'll be like for third four others we can wait for others if those had to be like for after the release of the movie and mostly green screen lightings showing all the behind the scenes hmm something a little bit similar than you something that I did back in my last night movie behind the scenes in 2017 since I did those type of screenshots. Well, that's an awesome tr behind the scenes. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoy it. And, yeah, Dark Films Production, congratulations, you reached to 1K subscribers. And now you're mostly already reached to. Oh, uh, it only shows 1K subscribers because I find it's gonna show more numbers. <laughs> but still. You did amazing. You deserve more than that. Like you, you, you like you deserve more like more subscribers, more likes, more views. Like come on. The way those Minecraft movies you made are better because I tried to find some good Minecraft movies on YouTube in the time, but sometimes they always been showing these Minecraft role plays, Monster School, or is it trying to take over the YouTube area? <laughs> But now you, you and the others, are the new hope who bring these Minecraft movies come to life with the new looks, the camera, everything. That's how I wanted for YouTube to have some hope to showing these ones coming up. And you did amazing. You and the others. Congratulations. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed this reaction video. This is Lord of Flames here. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, folks. Have a wonderful day. And I'm going to have my voice in a movie.